I've got 20 minutes before I have to get back to the hill. I've been trying to call you. I got good news. 19. <laughs> <laughs> Abby offered me White House press secretary. Okay. Did you hear me? You have a job. But now I have the job. It's the White House. Congratulations off the works in these situations. When do you leave? Today. <sighs> okay, then. Millie. <sighs> you should have told me. I just did. But you were unhappy here. I wasn't. Instead of leading me to believe that this was something that you wanted. Like, I'm some idiot. Millie, you should be proud. <laughs> Is that what you tell them? Them? What's going on with you? I don't believe this. I should be proud. Proud. Of what? Allowing you to use me as a stepping stone? A bullet point on your resume? Excuse me? I'm curious. When you're done with press secretary, what are you going to do then? Host your own political show the networks will be calling. You're going to write a book? A memoir? That will be fascinating. Personally, I'd love to hear all about how you capitalized on the death of Brandon Parker to launch your failed mayoral campaign. And what exactly F made you sleep with a D.C. mayor's wife? Oh, oh, maybe it's a cabinet position you're really after. That's got to be it, right? Oh, let me ask you something, Marcus. How many women do you think you'll have to screw in order to get one of those? Promotion, Marcus.